Hi everyone, it's Casey Williams. Well, a couple of weeks ago we had the Toyota Yaris, and at the time I said it was one of my favorite subcompact cars, and it really is still a great little car, but it may have been replaced by another car in my in my favorite list. It's the car we have here today. It's the 2020 Hyundai Venue. Let's go have a look at it. Not only is the Venue Hyundai's newest crossover, it's also their smallest, but it's a pretty good looking car. I like it a lot. It's a little boxy as you expect for a small compact crossover, but it works out okay. I like the grill. I like kind of the mesh effect here in the middle. It looks a little bit like the uh, larger crossover as well, like the Santa Fe and the Palisade. That's kind of, that's really cool. I kind of like it. LED headlamps, LED driving lamps. Kind of like how the driving lamps are smaller. I think they look pretty good. Come around the side. Again, it's a boxy little car. It's tall, but that really equates to a very big passenger compartment. Center with 17 inch alloy wheels. Those are an upgrade on the vehicle. Set the silver roof rails. Yeah, it looks pretty sturdy. It looks very nice. It looks pretty tough. It's only available on front wheel drive, so it's not all wheel drive. I think it looks pretty good. In the back, also very handsome. Open the hatch. Not a huge amount of space here, but for a couple of people, there's enough. And the back seats go down, so that really enlarges the luggage space as well. And of course, what I really like too is there's actually a spare tire back here. It's not a big spare tire, but you don't have to have a, a can or a run flat and deal with any of that hassle. I think the exterior is pretty handsome, but it's the interior that really sells the venue. I like it. There's a lot of hard plastic in here, but you expect that in a subcompact crossover. That's normal. But it's all styled very nice. I mean, from the doors, I like the door handles, the satin silver here. It's very nice as well. I like the surround for the, for the touch screen. Also looks very good, satin silver upgrade on this vehicle. All looks very good. Nice thick leather wrap steering wheel, leather wrap shift knob. We've got automatic climate control. But again, back to the touchscreen. I like it a lot. It's easy to use, very easy to go through the functions, radio. It's got navigation. And again, everything's very easy to use up here. I like that a lot. You can drag tune it if you want to. Go straight to your channels. Everything's very, very easy to use. I also like that there's redundant volume and tuning knobs down below. You're sitting in traffic, you just want to kind of go through the stations, you can do that. Very easy. I'm glad they left them. And everything feels very solid. I mean, the shifter feels very solid when you put it into gear. Works nice. USB ports down below. More power outlets. It's got heated seats. And again, in a car this size and this class, I think it's a really nice feature. The cloth seats, I like the way the cloth looks. I like the white stripes in them. They're very supportive, very comfortable, very easy. It's presumably very easy to clean as well. We took a nice long drive. We spent about five hours on the highway with it. Felt nice, very supportive, not tired at all. I think they worked out really well. Back seat, plenty of space for two adults, three in a pinch, plenty of room for a kid, lots of leg room. Portions of the car, I mean, again, it's very tall, it's very boxy, but that really turns into a very roomy interior. This has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, easy to connect all your stuff, Bluetooth, of course, got the power sunroof, and a lot of safety gear. You've got the forward collision alert system with pedestrian detection, lane keep assist, blind spot warning, rear cross path detection, and a nice rear view camera. So, small car, but also a very safe car. I like pretty much everything about the interior. Well, if there's one slight downside, it's the powertrain. And it's not a rough powertrain, it's enough power for this vehicle. But on the highway, and you're running somewhere above the speed limit, there's not any power left. So you got a 1.6 liter four cylinder, delivers 121 horsepower, but just 113 pound feet of torque. And it's routing that out of the front wheels through a continuously variable transmission. So if you really step on it hard, you rev it up, it's enough power. I didn't have any trouble running in interstate speeds with the car. But you know, it's really, really designed more as a, as a city car. It does have a drive mode selector, so it's got a normal mode, and that's your best fuel economy. You get 30 miles per gallon in the city, 34 on the highway. You'd like to have a little better fuel economy than that, but keep in mind, you're really trying to shove a little brick through the air, so fuel economy is not going to be your best trait in this car. But 30 miles per gallon in the city is pretty good. But you got the drive mode selector, so you can put it in snow mode, helps you a little bit with traction. It's also got a sport mode, that makes the throttle a lot more, a lot more aggressive. And I had it in sport mode a lot on the highway, and it, it, it doesn't create more horsepower, but it just makes it more readily available and, and uses it a little more quickly. So I think, you know, again, it's, it's enough power. But what I really like about the car is I think it just drives nice. It's tight, it's sporty, you're on the interstate, you go over some rough pavement, it just soaks it up pretty well. You come off the bridge and, you know, a little bit of a bump off the, off the bridge on the highway, 
and the car just absorbs it. It's not a complicated suspension. It's got the torsion beam in the back, independent in the front. But the car does a very nice job. The steering's tight, and it just feels well made. Again, you just go over bumps, rough roads, nothing squeaks, creaks, or rattles. The car just feels very tight and well made. So overall, it's been a, been a very enjoyable week with the vehicle driving it. One question I always like to ask myself when I'm testing a car is, and if I had the money, would I buy this car for myself? And I think the answer for the venue is yes. And almost everybody has the money to buy a car like this. It's small, it's great in the city, it's big enough to have the space you need on the highway, you can get four people and you can get all your luggage in it. It's just, it's just really a pleasant little car to have. Sure, there's some plastics and stuff in the interior, but you just have to expect that in a car of this class. It works out just fine. And I think it's a really cool, cool little car. So let's talk about what kind of money it's going to take to buy this car. Well, the venue starts at just $17,350. This one, with pretty much every option you could ever want on it, $23,405. And I think at that price, that's quite a bit of car for the money. Well, next week, I have another fun car. Till then, storm forward.